everybody what's going on welcome to the stream how are y'all doing today we're all doing fantastic we are back on city skylines as you can see and dang hold on a second <laughs> it's always something here let's go ahead and fix this here there we go nice and even there all right all right Perfect. All right. And let's make sure you can actually hear this game. Anywho, how y'all doing? Welcome to stream. I'm Al Rivers We're playing City Skylines tonight. As always, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining in on tonight's live stream here on the tubes of you. So. We're back on CS2. Um, uh, if you had a chance to check out last week's stream, you would have seen that, well, the game crashed. Um, <laughs> so the city that we had started on uh, one of the new maps that I had downloaded, unfortunately, did not survive. Because I didn't save it. But we've got a few options here. Uh, I've got a few different cities that I've kind of downloaded that are available on Paradox Mods. And, well, I'm kind of going to get y'all involved. If we can get enough people in here, get in on this, and uh, I'm going to pick a map. Because we got a few. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into our library and see what maps I've pulled up. So the one we were working on last week is Owl's Uskumru Uskum Bay. It's a very awesome map. Uh, Owl did a fantastic job with uh, this interchange here. And yeah, I mean, I definitely couldn't make anything that, that good. <laughs> Obviously, it would be something different. Uh, but it wouldn't, be, wouldn't be that good or that clean, I should say. At least not without multiple uh, attempts and next option kind of pulled this one called Cape Kelvin um, this one was made by Yuri Plays Cities and yeah. it's a big old story on here uh, time of loading there's an issue caused by extended road upgrades where who's retaining walls and nodes have limitations to pick this up to fix the walls in the past running parallel to two rails and let's say the wall do not have glitched indentations now we were having issues with that actually uh, when we were using the thunderstorm mods for the extended road upgrades so like when we were doing the retaining walls you'd remember we'd have those divots in, in the retaining walls uh, on our little island areas and yeah it kind of looked funky but I guess I wasn't the only one yeah, this map uh, looks pretty good too. I kind of like that there appears to be a large buildable area, but there's also a lot of water. So I think we can still build quite a bit on this map. Plus I really like how we've got the uh, farmland sectioned off. So when it comes to it, we actually don't have to do it ourselves. We can take the easy way out and someone else has already done all the hard work for us things though like this obviously you have to go in there and change or edit I'm not a huge fan of arch bridges archway bridges that's just me though uh, this inter interchange is pretty cool um, and we've already got rail in here which is kind of nice to have so that's another one I downloaded Naka in New Zealand I've actually use this map for testing uh, back when I was using Thunderstore uh, for, for mods and I really like this map. There's a lot of nice things about it. Uh, my only complaint, obviously, they're in the Midlands there don't appear to be a whole lot buildable or I guess water uh, water sources 
And then I just pulled this new one, uh, Lake Anoke, uh, which is also by Rafterman New Zealand, uh, which is the person that created Wanaka. So I believe these are uh, built or I guess modeled after real places. So let's see. Yeah, it is. Yep, it's real. <laughs> Actually, it looks like that. You see that interest there? It goes like that. Got a big old river going through there. And that's the map. It's a pretty big sized map. Uh, it looks like it cuts off there a little bit. I mean, that makes sense. At least if you're looking at a map of the real place for pictures. But yeah, this one's pretty neat. Uh, I guess the great thing, rich in agriculture and has direct access to the coast into Palace Array and Cook Street. Air, sea, railroad, water, and electrical connections. Uh, so American won't have to do. High voltage lines are buried and span buried and span the map. Using me must connect them either above ground or below. The map includes Easter eggs and stylistic choices that may not be true to life. Some creative liberty was taken, such as shipping connections and rail networks. Uh, beautiful landscape and abundant buildable land. Uh, climbing is San Francisco temperate to make the weather authentic. Cool, so that's right up my alley. Uh, performance is not guaranteed. Map is extremely heavy use of trees. Simulation speed may suffer depending on your hardware. Now, I didn't really experience this last time on the other map that it, they'd created, so. I want to say it should be okay. Uh, use the search to report bugs, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. Um, I mean, kind of like the other map uh, by Owl. He says it's not compatible with the game version, so it may have issues. Cape Kelvin appears to be the only one that doesn't have issues. And, oh my, look at the size of Lake Onoke. It's 119 megabytes, whereas the other ones are right around 60. So, yeah. Maybe taxing on the hardware, but I, I think we'll be okay. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and jump right in on it. So let me just check some things here. Uh, well, it seems like the video feed has frozen. is stuck. Alright, let's see if I can fix this. Bear with me one sec here. Someone's got to fix that. Change it over to this one. There we go. That looks a lot better. Awesome. Alright, well, let's go ahead and create a new game. Let's check out the map Lake We'll see how that looks. So I do want to keep the name of uh, the city that I created last time, and that was called Terra de Formanchi. So Terra de Formanchi. All right, natural disasters. We're not going to unlock all. We're going to disable tutorials because we don't need it. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the land of cheese. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, get this started. Ladies and gentlemen, folks, welcome to Terra di Formaggi. Alright. 
so off the bat I can already see we've got a great starting tile we've got trains already that makes me super happy the only thing I'm missing I'm kind of regretting I didn't add was historic start so let's take a look uh, it's gonna be a code mod and what this is gonna give us oh wait it is so historical start enables most more historical city building when the games unlock progression so rail sh uh, shipping specialized industry blah 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 Enables placement of train stations and cargo terminals without having to place a depot first. Ah, very nice. Rail and shipping should be unlocked automatically. So let's take a look. Doesn't appear to be. So it'd be right over here. Ah, so this happened the other day. I'm missing some mods. So let's go ahead, save this, better the Formaggi, because it didn't save last time. All right, go into PDX mods, and we'll go back. I forgot what I had to do to make this work. I think we just go ahead and exit. Let's go back to the main menu, try to load our game. Oh, actually, let's load into this let's do no active playset new city playset which is the one that we started and we broke the game <laughs> <sighs> all right well let's go ahead and close out of the game kind of figured something weird was going to happen but at least now i know that funky things happen so let's go ahead and reopen this. All right, is this going to open up correctly? Looks like it is. Yeah. Alright, so now we can see all the uh, mods loading up. Virtual textures. Can't wait for that. Booyah. Alright, now let's load into our game, Terra di Formaggi. Let's go ahead and hop in. And see if that works. Abundance of caution, we will keep the task manager up. And there we go. Awesome. So we've got our transportation. So we've got trains. We've got, let's go ahead and get hop out of that. And we've got our uh, zoning tool. So zoning tool, if you remember last week, that's going to allow us to turn zoning on and off whenever we place roads. Something that was definitely needed when CS2 came out because we were having to pull the whole city skyline. It's one thing where you create a path, um, at least for console, console city skyline one. Um, yeah, looks like we're, we're good to go. We could pretty much hop right in. Um, I kind of want to take a look at the land though. So we've got our buildable space that goes, kind of leaves out a lot because this is all water here, but and we've got mountain ranges out here that we can build all the way up to the edge on. And look at this terrain. This terrain is insane. Here, let's just go ahead and look at it from this view. So yeah, we've got a great little starting area here. I don't know, I tend to pick difficult maps to start with all the time, don't I? <laughs> seems, seems to be that I love torturing myself. But kind of looking at it here, we've got kind of come out here. Got more mountainous terrain, so we could definitely do something with the uh, seaside here. Because we have. Alright, 
so here's one thing I did appreciate about the other map is that it had tiles that were not squares. So I don't know. What are our thoughts, folks? Do we want to use this map? Or do we want to go back to Owl's map? Because this, this seems like it may be a little bit of a challenge. Got some elevation changes here. Uh, and it's definitely a lot flatter than the rest of that is. But, I mean, I, I feel like it's going to make for some great builds. Uh, having gone to New Zealand myself just, what, last year... What month is it? Yeah, about five months ago. Um, really definitely got to explore some of the mountain ranges, check out some of the uh, check out some of the, um, the tunnels or not the tunnels, the caves. Um, the only thing we didn't do is zip lining and skydiving or I guess one of the things that you can do in, in uh, Church, uh, New Zealand. It's the ah oh, man, I'm blanking out. I feel like a rookie now. Auckland, in Auckland. Actually, no, it was closer to Rotorua, but uh, it was um, it had this tree like zip lining thing that you could do. It was really cool. I was thinking about doing that, but we, we just ran out of time. Hey, what's up, Harlan? How's it going? You think small grids would be great for this map? All right. Well, what are your thoughts? Should we use this map? Do we want to use this map? Uh, starting tiles out here. Small grids. I agree. Uh, definitely a lot of farmland. We can do a lot of farmland in this area. Um, I don't have access to the views, so I can't see where the land is fertile yet, but considering the layout, it looks like there is a ton of fertile land. At least I'm going to make that assumption. So I think what we could do, um, we've got all this here kind of make like a small city area right or like a small township right over here we've got the highway we can come right off of yeah I think we make this work and we'll just do like a small farm just on the outskirts out here so let's go ahead and hop in and do that let's get a gravel road let's get a gravel road going here to about there. All right. Let's get right about there. And then we're going to have a road coming off the highway from, let's say, right about this side. So we'll have it continue just on the other side of these trees, just like that. Then we can swap our road like this. So we'll have a dedicated right turn lane, dedicated left turn lane. It's somewhat flat. Yeah, you know, it kind of is. Um, definitely a lot flatter than some of the other maps that I've built on, which I, yeah, I was kind of saying earlier at the start of the stream, I'm like, man, I was really torturing myself before. <laughs> Don't know why, but I was. Um, I guess it was just fun. We, we actually haven't even gone back to our, uh, what's it called? Our vanilla city build, which I kind of feel bad that I have abandoned it completely, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> that city causes us a lot of headaches. Headaches. Right, here we go. 
So I got that connection there. I think uh, we can definitely kind of bring this out. start building a grid so say we we rode over from this side just kind of follow this tree line what we'll do is have the tree line on the inside so I don't know. looks like we'll actually want oh I see what's happening here I have another idea Let's have the road on the inside of the tree line. That go through there. We'll edit the uh, land a little bit later. But I kind of want to keep the, uh, the terrain as is. I don't want to change it up too much. this a little bit. Let's bring this down to the same level. Bring this out like that. What we can also do is upgrade this in the future. So we'll leave a little bit of room for growth, future growth. Uh, we'll turn kind of this into a little bit more farmland. So it's a little bit more rural. And uh, yeah, we'll just get started. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. And we'll upgrade it on the inside so that way we can keep that tree line. As some of you have seen in prior builds, I'm not a big fan of upgrading roads like this this early. Um, that kind of messed things up there. But. And that needs going to be there, so I figure may as well. All right, so we got that connection that there. switch this over we'll upgrade this going that way boom there we go so it doesn't look as funky you know all right so we got that that's gonna be kind of our collector uh, you know what that just doesn't look right let's just go ahead and upgrade this all the way through We get the opportunity we'll remove the traffic lights there remove the crosswalks we don't we don't need the crosswalk there what we can actually do too is um, we get access to highway networks we can kind of fix that too mess with that a little bit all right so let's do what we usually do choose our levels our terrain levels and we'll build on steps around a little bit just enough and seeing as we have our train lines up here our rail lines I mean we'll probably have at a train station uh, like a passenger train station at a cargo station as well I think uh, being able to keep it all kind of close to each other would be super beneficial 
So we'll just kind of terraform one in here. Just flatten this all out, make space for it. So this right here would be a great spot to have our cargo area, our cargo stuff going on. is we have this unlocked so we can actually have our train station here right away so we'll take a look go ahead and add a line in here and then we've also got our cargo rail terminal heck that can even go way back here It just works. It just works. You can even wrap this around. Because if we look at our air pollution, our wind, the wind is going to be pushing everything that way. So if we've got industrial back here along with farms, then it kind of works out. As long as we don't build you know, residential things over on this side, I think we'll be zone residential yeah here we go let's go ahead and plop a train station oh, first let's see how much it's gonna cost us 75k that's not too bad that's not too bad so we've got three rail lines what we'll do is remove this out take this out take that out you know I am going to need a rail yard so instead what we'll do It's gonna be tricky. Okay. Which is the rail yard? This is gonna cost me 150k. Alright, let's hold off on that. <laughs> it's gonna cost us a lot of money. Good thing is we've already got it kind of planned out. Let's just make sure we got our zoning on. Let's do default. There we go. And let's just pick a point. So we'll pick this point, we'll go straight back about there. Oh, not this again. There we go. Alright, so that's going up. Let's go ahead and put the road right up against this tree line here. We can help it. was suggested so let's get let's do some uh, more deep building so we've got there so we should be able to get four and three yeah let's do four and three so seven seven deep too so we've got three we could do three by threes three by fours so one two three three one two three one two three we can have blocks that are that long there 
go. So what is that? That is 114 yards. I was surprised it actually made that. It's a relief. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's just go 114 yards from here. Fantastic. Hey, look at that. We got a perfect grid started here. All right. Pretty nice there. So we could do separate kind of well, housing areas. So let's see. We got 70 yards. Pretty decent sized grid. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we've got for power. So I'm not entirely sure if power is coming in from outside. Sources, looks like we've got the uh, we've got power coming in on the rail lines. But I think we are sharing power from outside. Maybe not. I don't think we are, so we may need one of these bad boys. We'll have to put it a little higher up as we get some wind. That's the thing with some of these maps, like the wind speed is way too low. So it won't really work. Uh, let's take a look at groundwater is because we're gonna have to go with coal. Alright, look. Should be right there. Unless we can get some more wind. Yeah, I think the best we're gonna get is I think it was 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah, 1.17. 1. 1. 1.18. Ah, wind speed is way too low though. That's it's not gonna it's not gonna generate enough electricity to power our toaster. <laughs> Alright, that's the crappy part is there are a ton of water sources over here so I really don't want to pollute it with a coal power plant as much as I don't want to I think I'm going to have to put it way out here so I think what we'll do is just kind of place this down and wing it as we go along Say, oh, how are we gonna get road up there? We're not gonna be able to. All right, let's terraform that back. Yeah, I couldn't add groundwater elsewhere, but darn, 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 darn. I'm just gonna have to. Let's just see what we can do. I know we can upgrade this. It's getting what? One point. Alright, let's see. That's gonna be nothing. 
costing us 25k a month. Alright, let's get a power line cable. This. Oh, there's a power line down here. There we go. Because I don't want forest fires, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these trees that are right by the power lines. California, take note. I should say uh, pg and &E, take note. <laughs> Alright. So let's see how much electricity this is actually able to generate. Probably not a whole lot. Alright, I think we've got some connections. So we're just going to need some water. Let's go ahead and use our groundwater pumping station because it's going to be the cheapest upkeep at 20k. Actually, this is pumping station is going to have the cheapest upkeep, but it is quite unsightly in this beautiful area. So I think what we'll do is do the groundwater pumping station. We're going to plot this bad boy right out here. right underneath the highway. <laughs> Can't even touch it. No. Come on, groundwater. Reservoir usage 1%. This is 12%. Don't quite understand that. Alright. Let's get a service road through here. Let's see how it goes, right? What's the worst that could happen? And we'll kind of treat this as a frontage road. So we'll just say this point here. We'll go is that about 26 yards? 26 yards out. And curve that in. There we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then we'll curve it in this way. Right. So we got that. It's got power. We've got water. Need a water treatment plant now. We've only got sewage outlet pipe. So uh, let's go ahead and plop it out here. So that has a direct connection, so we'll just put it here. In an area that we'll probably forget exists. way. <laughs> Good thing is we're not drinking that water. By the way folks, once again, welcome to the stream. Hope you're all doing fantastic. If you get a chance, feel free to hit that like button if you're enjoying the content. If you want to say hello, feel free to hit the live chat function. If you're on mobile, uh, if you're watching on your TV, you can, I don't know, pull out your phone and So now we've had the map pause this entire time. We haven't built anything. Um, I've got an idea of making this all beach. So just turning this into beach using the, uh, what's it called? Spaces in the areas? No, that's not quite it. It was like a terrain tool. 
I'll figure it out. Oh, a goose? What? The goose monitor? A lot of different tools. All right. Cool. So let's get this going. Let's build some homes. I think we're gonna do is have the homes out in this area. So we're gonna do these kind of one by one. Um, I think we're gonna keep buildings over on this side. Off of King Lane. So let's go ahead, go in here, we're gonna upgrade or replace tool. Go out here, we're gonna have to use select the zoning tool, hit none to upgrade this so that way we don't get any zoning on these roads. Ah, I messed this one up a little bit, but let's go ahead and put default. Now we got zoning on there again. All right, so now if we were to actually build on this land here, it would only allow us to zone. There we go. Only allow us to zone like that. Nice. We are missing quite a lot. Okay, that is not connected actually. I thought it was. Alright, let's, let's just connect that to this guy. There we go, we've got power. Uh, sewage should have been connected. That's hilarious. It doesn't intersect. Now it does. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow this down. Pause it real quick. Because I want to see who our first residents are. First resident is the Copeland family. Nice. They are headed. Oh, I love that. It tells us this now. Alright, so we're building North American. We're going to stick with that. down here give a little separation from the houses that are kind of on the hill there high rent well nobody lives there yet <laughs> of course there's gonna be high rent there you go they stop complaining because someone lives there now There we go. Awesome. I think it's gonna look pretty good. All right. So let's get some commercial over on Manor Street. Sweet. Yeah. Add 
let's have I'm trying to have a lot more control over over zoning these buildings. All right, so we want to have some sort of uh, separation here. So we're going to use our vegetation tools. Go in here and select our wild deciduous trees, and we are using a color palette from. I don't want to butcher his name. It was Yang uh, Options. Let's see. Oh, we've got so many here. Map texture replacer. Nope. 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 Tree controller. There we go. Yin Yang's. Yin Yang's color palette for the trees. So it's a tiny bit more vibrant. should change with the seasons. I was uh, testing this on another map and I was getting some uh, some uh, what you need. What's it called? <laughs> oh, wow. Blanking really bad right now. Oof. Some autumn colors like red and orange, stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty epic looking. All right, I think we're gonna want to get a path in here, so let's go ahead. And do some minor detailing, nothing too crazy. We separated a little bit from the uh, from the residential area. Just a little bit. Let's have a little bit of separation. All right, we're just gonna push right in here. Get a nice little tree line path, just like that. Sweet. These houses are looking pretty good. I actually don't mind the beach pack. It's, it's not bad. You know, it's, they're all talking crap about it. But I've seen worse. Like this house is pretty nice. So it kind of sucks that the trees block the view, but it's also going to block all the noise from the main road here. So I think I think How are we doing on money? I know we've been spending a lot of it, but actually not doing too bad. We're only at 21k in the red. Doing all right. services yet so we're not going to do that but an invisible taxi stand interesting taxi depot new taxi stand
Let's see the bulldoze. Dodging Sims. Uh, I don't even know how that works. Visible parking beacon. Uh, that's too much. We'll, well, we're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna delete every individual tree. All right, so let's go ahead and get our road. What I'm gonna want to do is come out roughly. It was about a hundred yards. Let's see. Get a train station in here. Cause I want to make sure I'm leaving enough space. Looks like I'm gonna have to use that contour line as the space go with. So we're gonna go off of this contour line. About 90 degrees like that. There we go. center of this? Uh, of course not. Alright, let's turn off the snaps. Oh, but I really want to snap to it. Alright, turn our snaps back on, and we'll use our simple curve tool. So it kind of goes right up to the center of that train station here. Close enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get our lines connected so that way we can have some people come on in. And hello in the chat. How's it going? Sorry. Let's see, I don't even know how to. Oh, there we go. Can't copy and paste them. Alexander says, I see urban planning. This is rare. Hey. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> we are trying. You know? Um, it's definitely not something that I've excelled at in the past, but... Uh, actually, no. I, I, there have been some pretty good cities that I've done. Um, most of them mainly on... Uh, what was it? Console. Had some pretty good ones. But we also had our last series that was on the uh, cities remaster. That's what it was. All right, so I'm not going to do anything with that extra thing because that could be an extra platform. So I don't. That's not going to be a through way. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab two-way train track. <clears throat> We're gonna bring it in from here, straight out. Perfect. And the 
this one will have to just come out uh, from this point. No train track. Went in both directions simultaneously. What's the difference? Uh oh. Integrated passenger train stop. What is it? Place on tracks. What? That is so confusing. That is confusing. Can we get rid of that? <laughs> Crap, I don't want that there. Alright, let's just bulldoze that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Realized quickly that I didn't want it there. Alright. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and. Sorry, I'm gonna have to keep translating what you're saying. Uh. Translating in Italian. Usually they make fences, build large villages instead of cities. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, just trying to switch it up a little bit, you know? better bet. We'll actually have it come from the center. about center point, right? <clears throat> okay, perfect. I just needed... That's not center. Does that look insane? <laughs> Let's go ahead and exit out of that. Yes, it does. 100%. Alright. I think we gotta connect this up. Here. How are we gonna do this? Because uh, that's pretty smooth. 
try to bring this up. There you go. We'll have to make that work for now. It'll be alright. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get a train going here. Passenger rail line tool. Use this stop here, and we'll make a connection somewhere. There we go. Colossal City. Perfect. There we go. Now, this did say that we don't need the. What's it called? We don't need the rail yard to be able to do this. But now it's telling us we don't have any vehicles. So we do need a rail yard. We lied. We lied. Alright, and we need more people to move in. So let's continue to build. Let's go ahead and put this in here really quick. external okay I have an idea I will have external on the outer this side and then internal be on the inside so that way that doesn't get tied up with uh, external lines so let's go ahead and go to public transit Ooh. oh we don't even have access to that yet <laughs> Kind of jumped the gun a little bit there. There we go. Well, see, I want to have an external connection for now in order to get people to move in. So let's do that. That side. We'll do this side. Boom. All right. So now we can dedicate these inside tracks for intercity travel. And uh, the other one would be quote, international travel, we'll call it that. All right, but yep, we are gonna need a rail yard, so let's go ahead and get our rail yard in here if we can afford it. Yeah, I think we can afford it. Just got a nice big chunk of cash coming in. It's a rail yard, oh man, this thing is huge. All right, we'll just delete this for now. better in CS1 or CS2? Uh, I think it's I think it's about the same. Um, like, at least when we we're using it... Okay, the only thing about CS2 is that you have to have a rail yard, so that's kind of a bummer. Because it's a gigantic asset. So you have to make up a lot of space for it. You have to kind of leave a lot of space for it. That's a ton of room. That's like, that's just way too much. I think it's way too big of, a, of an asset. Um, it really doesn't need to be this big, but it is. sucks. Because <laughs> I'm like stuck. I'm, I'm bound to that. Bound to the size of that, that asset. But what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Let's 
get rid of some of these trees real quick. Right, let's get rid of some of these bushes here. trees. Nope, that's not it. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that other pack. Uh, your spruce trees. Yep, there we go. I forgot this was the North American pack. There you go. Alright, so I can kind of see what's going on here a little better. Because if I build the rail yard on the hill, it just it just won't it won't work. Um, yeah, this is just because then how we won't be able to get because I mean, it's pretty steep. The hill's pretty steep. It's kind of hard to see, but pretty steep. That's much lower land. Um, we can try to stick it back here, but again, like trying to get. I made this mistake in our vanilla city build. Couldn't really get the train line to go around in a realistic fashion. So it kinda kinda looked bad. <laughs> but uh yeah. Let's go ahead and get some more houses in here. Uh first let's do our road building road network. how long these blocks were. <laughs> uh, I think it is, we were saying short blocks, so 70 yards. Alright, let's do 70 yards. Go in. Go out. There we go. Another 70 yards. This one's gonna have to be one of the ones that curve a little bit. Yeah, let's see if we can figure this out. There we go. That looks weird. Yeah. So this ain't looking too bad. Again, I uh, want to have the zoning on like King Lane and Pearl Street. So we'll go ahead and go in here. Oh, well, let's do that after. Let's finish uh, getting these streets in. So straight out. There we go. Check the topography out here. I mean, it looks like it's flat, but it's acting like it for a little for a sec. There we go. Got this. Straight out like that. Like that. We'll just go diagonal from this point. There we go, just like that. somewhere <laughs> go to you building this out building 
this out as well. There we go. Sometimes you have to go back and fix your uh, your zoning. It gets a little weird. It doesn't hurt to just delete it and go back. some other tools we unlocked. Ooh, we got some more prototypes here. That works. And we do have a development point. So we're going to go with advanced road services because I want to get rid of some of these crosswalks. Got way too many crosswalks going through here. So let's go ahead and grab this. We're going to remove that one that intersection there, that intersection there. And we're gonna get rid of this one up here. Just like that. Sweet. And what we're actually gonna do is, oh, we don't have access to highways yet, so never mind. Um, let's get rid of some of these too. Don't want a street light. Don't want a street light. There should be a yield. Yep, there you go. They can yield. They can yield. Awesome. There we go. We got a whopping 34 people living here. How's that possible? Three residents. Oh, I just can't wait until they finish updating these mods. So we can add a few other things too. All right, so we're gonna add some more commercial in here. Go ahead and have a pathway cuts right through here. And then I think we're gonna add some, uh, as we get closer to the top here, I think we're gonna add some medium density residential. Let's go ahead and put this in like that. There you go. Very, very, very nice, very nice. Oops. All right, looks like we can use this medium density. So let's have that kind of start over on this side. Over on this side here. Um, actually, over here would be good. So in this case, I'm going to want it again, kind of going this way. I don't want it to be like on Franklin Lane there. So we can get rid of that. Uh, at least the zoning on that street. So we'll go in here, our tools, zoning tool, none. Let's go ahead and make sure we upgrade that accordingly. Okay. That shouldn't have any zoning on. There we go. 
That was weird. Okay. Yeah, mods aren't perfect. But it's all we've got. Can't play it on uh, Thunderstore.io anymore. <laughs> kind of a bummer. But let's see what happens here. Yep, it's all zone of the wrong way. Yep, all zone of the wrong way. Okay. Let's redraw this. Make sure we have no zoning. Street should be named to Commercial Drive. All right, you got it. Commercial, commercial, commercial drive. Boom, you got it, Harlan. You know what I think we should do? You know what I think we should do? area. I'm going to call that something else. Oh, oh. I can't do anything with it yet. It's going to be Harlan Square. Complex curve. Move that there, move that there. Go. Yes, we could just we can go straight through. <laughs> Let's just do that. And we'll do some cool uh cool stuff there. A little later in the future once we act once we're able to access some more items. So this medium density residential area should spur our population growth a little bit, I hope. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it goes. that. Let's bring 
just drag this out a little bit more and we'll soften it like that. There we go. Now it looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. That'll do. That's fine. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. There we go. Alright. Gotta control the type of buildings that are zoning in. And the size. All of it. Gotta have micromanaging abilities over everything that's going up. <laughs> And the game just crashed. Oh boy. No, please tell me the game saved. Please tell me the game saved. So PPX mods doesn't appear to be very stable. <laughs> I will say if you are playing the game, make sure you're saving regularly. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. All right, as it loads in, how's everyone doing tonight? You're all doing fantastic. So up until that point, I was doing fantastic myself. <laughs> but the game just had to go and happen, didn't it? But it's alright. It's okay. It could be worse. Well, actually, I don't know if it could be worse. It could actually be very bad. It could be like the last game save where nothing saved. So... I'm just going <clears> to <throat> take a few seconds here to kind of like mentally, mentally prepare myself for the inevitable. All right. Mentally, mental preparation done. Let's go ahead and load in. All right. Eight. 59, I lost about 10 minutes of gameplay. All right, could be worse, could be worse. Could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where did we, holy moly. <laughs> This is why it's very important to make sure you save frequently. Save, 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 save frequently. Make sure you're always safe. <laughs> uh, I mean, it could be worse. I'm gonna keep telling myself that. Could have been worse. I could have lost the entire game save actually. I kind of like the last one. That would have that would have been very sad. But it's not too bad. Not too bad. That being said, thank you for your support, by the way. I know you have other things you can be doing on your Monday evenings or Tuesday mornings or afternoons, wherever you are in the world. So thank you again for joining in and kind of partaking in the fun, <laughs> fun and frustrations or whatever you want to call it. Thanks for being here. It means a lot. Five, five, six. So we're going to put a nice big old six by six building in here. Or a nice big old six by six building there. Commercial Drive renamed itself. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
personal uh, personal drive. Perfect. What else am I missing? Seen a whole lot here. Um, so the only thing, only other thing we had was the pathway. That went straight across, and then this one, I've just kind of gone like that. And then we'll do our complex curve. station off is it's costing us money so there we go I'm saving about nine grand a month by having turned that off cool 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 I don't think we're gonna zone anymore on that side for now uh, let's just do some large buildings on that side. This doesn't break the game again. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Ooh. Yeah, upgrade that to no zone. Okay. I'm just gonna have to build it with no zoning. Let's see if that works. Alright, that does work. Perfect. See that's a nice six by six lot there. Can we get a 6x6 six six though? No. We get some 4x4s four though. Okay, there we go. We'll do that. Do that. This will be kind of the bigger homes. Which is kind of funny because I forgot why it was funny. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Sorry, chat. goes down inside. Oh, we also had... Did we have a path here? No, we didn't. So let's go ahead and get one in here. Let's make sure we turn off sides building or snap to sides building. There we go. Awesome. Thank you so much for the likes. It's like we got two so far on the stream. We got 26 views. Doing great. If you have any other suggestions, feel free to hit it. Hit up the chat. Let me know. Another thing too, you can join in on uh, Discord and kind of share what your build looks like. Share that amongst the group. A nice little community going there. It's been a little quiet on there. I haven't really been posting much, uh, but yeah, I think we can revive that. It takes a village. It takes a village. Okay, it's not working. <gasps> Ooh, mountain brush. 
gosh, what does that look like? Huh? Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it on default brush. Cause that'll come in handy for actual terraforming, which we're not gonna be doing right now. Or that kind of terraform we're not gonna be doing right now. Um, I have a feeling this tree thing. Yeah. Just gonna keep doing that. This is the tool that was used to create this map. There we go. I'm trying to have less distractions is all. need a lot more people to move in so I guess we'll do row houses again hopefully we don't break the game again actually yeah we'll do row houses let's take a look at the terrain because it's looking a little funky out here do a small plaza there or something. Cool, so that's going to go up. It's going to go up and it's going to look good. Alright, so we got a nice little start kind of going right now. up as well. Just do something to 
something different in these streets here. That's looking a lot better. It's a slightly larger, it's a much larger block, but honestly, I think it'll be okay, especially when we're gonna go and kind of commercialize this area a little bit more. I think it'll work out quite nicely. And the other thing, too, is we can have. Oh man. Such a nice map. Make sure I'm doing it justice, honestly. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is just sully this beautiful area. Um, so this was roughly about far away, 35 yards. triangular thing going on there. Go. Lock that in. We'll bring this straight out to this road as such. Do the same thing out here. Alright, it's gonna look a little weird. But yeah, we can make it happen. We can make it work. Alright, let's choose now to zoning selling. That way we can actually get the center of that. Easier for just bring this straight out. So let's do that. that is going to be a thing. Awesome. This has 90 degrees? What? That looks funky. But I'll take it, I guess. Just this way it'll be easier to do the zoning. So let's get our beach property. 
beach properties thingy leave a little bit of space four by four or try to So yeah, smaller prop properties on this side. So then we'll just do some mass zoning through here. Do a path right down the center there. out here now yep, we've got access to health care and death care so we're definitely going to need health care um, probably be a good idea to put it close enough to the main road and remember we want to be able to upgrade this Nice little start here. It's not too bad. Um, again, trying to use the tree lines as much as possible to convert growth. Um, it's difficult in a few spots. Is I mean, this is all pretty much laid out for farms and stuff like that. Like even out here. It's insane. <laughs> the cool thing is too, we're gonna have some small burrows, residential burrows, so maybe we can do something with that. Within the tree lines. Anywho, that's going to do it for me tonight. Uh, let's take a look at what we did. There you go. <laughs> Didn't do a whole lot. Uh, we did get... I don't know. What what was our population at? 124? So yeah, it's definitely a small town. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think the population mod is... I don't think I turned it on because otherwise we'd be having a lot more people living in some of these residences but I guess the good thing is we're not getting uh, people complaining about high rent although I think 
this house was about to and they just got kicked out so yeah people are gonna be okay are so bright. There we go. <clears throat> so, so bright. Blinded. Alright. Definitely gonna have to have commercial across from the train station. So we'll do that. But yeah. Uh, we're gonna leave it here. Uh, I can grow this into a small little town. Use the boundary of this tile as boundary for this part of the city and as we grow out we can start using the rest of the area as farmland because well because that's the way it's kind of zoned out down here i think we need to have some good uh Uh, we can have some good uh, cargo shipping lanes, containers, and stuff like that. Uh, let's see if we can even have that through here. We've got one line out here. I think getting it through there is going to be a little tricky. If I can even fit it in there, that's what they say. Anyway, that's going to do for me. Thank you all so much for all the support. Thanks for stopping by today. Thank you for the likes. If you enjoyed the content, please hit that like button. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please hit that like button and leave a comment. Because as you saw, I did get some feedback from viewers and did kind of roll with some of them. So you too can be a part of the build. You too can have some influence in what we do in the city and make this a fun one. So thank you all for joining in. Hope you all have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, and evening. That's going to be it for me tonight. I will be back on Thursday, which is in what? Three or four days? Three days? Same time, 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. And yeah. Catch y'all next time. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye.